Emily, are you going to come back? Is it Mark Rowley or is it coming from Sadiq Khan? Are you coming back? Is it born again yet? Is it born again yet? Is it born again yet? No, no, but where are you going to come into the park? No, no, if I see him outside the park. If you see him outside the park, that's fine. Say you're walking past. Are you going to come and see? No, I'm not going to come. Okay, one more. All right, there you go. You can sign it. So I've got it, yes? You go, and that's it. We've got no payment, no nothing. You have to empty where's the signature? Yeah. We are at nine past two. You're going to get a copy of this, Okay, buddy. Mohammed, this is a fine. Take that. It's a fine. It's not a fine. Why did it make you angry? Is he done? Sorry, is he done? We have to walk him out of the park if you want to go outside. Okay, so then. No, we, we spoke a few weeks ago, but I, I work with you, why me, sir? Yeah, yeah, now I just want to interview this geese. Can I have a quick chat with you, sir? Okay, come on, yes. What he says out there is yes, What did it make you angry, the Israeli flag? Yeah, come, come, come up there. Let okay. Me pop, let me pop, yeah, well, as soon as you're outside, you can speak away. Okay, I'll say no. That's my family, that's And then things with them. Yo, my speaker is here, yes? Thank you. When I go after here, out of the gate, you go wherever the hell you want, but you don't come back. Yes. Here. Okay, no problem. I'm not coming back here. The man said that you would take him to the cash point to withdraw the cash. So initially, cash point. initially, he's taking <laughs> the government's flag my and the agreement that you need to pay for the damages to that. <laughs> However, you say he doesn't have <laughs> The victim has decided that he's happy <laughs> if he just escort this gentleman out rather than pay for the damage. Oh, so we okay. change the terms of his agreement from just oh, okay. okay, that's it, you're outside of my park. So, what, what happened? Yes. Why okay, did you right break now, the... Right Why did you break the flag? Because these people, they killed the children. Why you killed the children? What about the Yemeni children? No, Half a million no, have died. No, we don't talk about Yemen. We talk about Israel. But we, we talk about Palestine. But we know, we why, know that Hamas why is the to blame. Jews, you killed the fucking children you born today. We know why? that Hamas is, is why? using their question. children as shields. For Christian, for Jews, for any fucking religion. Yeah. Why? If you you need to blame right now, the Hamas. Hamas are a terrorist group. No, listen. And they are the ones no, to blame. Listen, no, no, they no, listen, no, they build the whole city, no, a whole no, tunnel a under Gaza. Why don't no, they shield the, the women Jewish and children there? They the use Jewish them there. Is a terrorist. The Jews is the fucking what? terrorist. So if I said the Muslims you, are terrorists, you, wouldn't that be Islamophobic? You is a terrorist. She's not you a terrorist, she's not a terrorist. No, I'm yes, there. <laughs> she's a terrorist. <laughs> no, I, I, we, yes, we, 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 we love people. How to kill the fucking children? Listen, why think about it. I did, I did not kill anybody. So why are you talking here? to me? Listen, reason with me. Why tell me, like, 
Hamas built a whole city of tunnels and the Gaza using donations. Why don't they put their children and women there instead of they use them to kill them? They built, they, the Hamas had in hospitals and schools and the Hamas families, they don't want, they want to die to be martyred for Allah. Sir, so if you look in the camera, sir. Sir, sir, good afternoon. Let me look in the camera. My name is Wendell Daniels. Okay. Like and we're live. Yeah, you Earlier on, yeah, we witnessed you. Okay. I'm sorry, but you don't fool me. At the end of the day, you know, this is like um, anti-God spirit. You know, first of all, to say I'm a terrorist, all Jews are terrorists. No, we know, you know, think about it. They built a whole city of tunnels in Gaza, yeah? For what reason? For what reason? To attack Israel and to hide themselves. And they use women and children to as shields because they want as many casualties as possible. And some families, the father even refuses to leave their home when Israel calls them because they want to die there and be martyred for the cause of Allah. And this is the reality of what's going on. Um, so anyway, I'm just gonna talk to Dr. Banda quickly. Briefly, because he said that we're terrorists. Well, if you fly a national flag, which is of a, a democratic country like Israel, then you've got no idea what the word terrorism means. Uh, the flag was on my flagpole, so the guy comes around, grabs it. I noticed it. It was in front of my eyes, so I went and got it back. Yeah. While well, trying to get it back, there was a scuffle. I got, I got hurt, my nail got broken. I got scratches over me because of what he was doing. Uh, eventually, the police came right at a good time. And they grabbed him, arrested him, and I've told him that he's not allowed to come back to Speaker's Corner. But in the meantime, because of the damage he done to my flag, Paul, he has to find the money from the cash point. So the police oh, They said that he doesn't have the money. No, no, he's lying because the police in this goes to the cash points. They want the cash points. No, I, I have the police on camera saying that you told that they told you that he doesn't have money. No, that's not what they said later on. At first, they said, yeah, they said he was homeless, blah, blah, blah. And then another officer said, no, let's go to the cash point. Who am I? So, I'm waiting. They told me to wait. So I'm waiting to see what the police said. The police told me I could be wrong, that he doesn't have money, and that you, as long as he goes, you're okay with that. Nah, that's only half the deal. Yeah. Half the deal is that he gets kicked out, yes, and he's, he's been put on notice, and he has to pay for the damage. That's what I agree to. That's not what the police said. Anyway, you will see on camera the police lied. Or maybe they misunderstood. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Well, there were three of them broken. <laughs> So yeah. I'll wait to see what happens. Okay, I spoke to one. Maybe there is different understanding. There must be. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 They, they, where are they? They're over there. That's Let's right. see the damage. Yeah. This one here. Yeah. Where yeah. will we go? Outside of Christ. So do you think this hatred of Israel is an anti-God anti spirit? Oh yeah, very you know, um, there, There's no other nation which experiences what I just experienced or yeah. flying Israeli flag. Yeah. If I fly India flag, the Pakistanis don't like the Indians. But they're not going to come and rip the flag. Yeah. <laughs> so what motivates these guys? It's a very anti-Christ anti spirit. Yeah. Uh, in the morning, I was explaining, I said, look, the Israeli flag is actually a prayer flag. The blue stands for the sky, and the white stands for you being holy before God. That's the, that's the, those are the colors of the Israeli flag. And the star stands for the kingdom of the Lord Jesus is coming. So when Jewish men pray, they cover themselves just like that. But when you have the Palestinian flag designed by an Englishman, Colonel Mark Sykes, 1916, to fight Turkey. So they have one flag for war and one flag for prayer. Which do you want? I prefer prayer. Amen.